Welcome back to the show. My next guest is really living the life I thought I'd live. I'm not going to lie to you. I, when, growing up, I wanted to be um, an actor in television and film, and I'm, I'm certainly grateful I ended up in this chair and, and, and hosting television shows uh, over my 19-year career. But I thought maybe one day I'd be an action hero. I mean, look at me. I'm not action hero material. But my next guest is Simon <laughs> Phillips, Troy uh, local actor. <laughs> Welcome. Great to have you here. Thank you very much for having me, Dezula. <laughs> You have to explain that because you, well, you were saying. Well, I was saying in in England you'd be because I'm from England. Yeah. You'd be Desa or Dezula, so I thought I'd give you that as a, maybe you didn't know that. I did not. I had no clue. Well, you can call me that for, from from well, now on. Well, you get on. to pick Desa or Dezula. Dezula's yeah. the guy that would buy you drinks. Dezula, grab me some drinks, will you? Grab the group some drinks. I can't afford that. I'll go with Desa. Desa's yeah. probably the guy that just gets the drink. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> um, tell me about your your beginnings in acting because you know uh, it's. I mean, as I said, I that's what I wanted to be. I did the auditions. I, I went through all of that. But you're making it as a, as a career, and and that's that's pretty incredible. That was pretty good. What you have to consider is that maybe you just weren't good enough. Did you? Well, ever, no, true. Did you ever lie awake and think about that? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I'm I'm actually thinking no. about it right now. God, this is why I have no friends anyway. I have to keep moving countries. <laughs> <laughs> when I say things like that. No, I always wanted to be an actor. My mom was an actress. Uh, okay. My dad, uh, my stepdad there was in a, a band. So I had kind of a creative background, you know, sort of. So I, I don't know. I just didn't want to do, like you, a real job. Yeah. I wanted to do this. I was like, oh, can we just play make-believe for a living? And they were like, okay, Simon. Best here job. You, here you go. <laughs> um, you've got a brand new role. Right. Uh, in the Netflix series FUBAR alongside Arnold Schwarzenegger. Tell me about this opportunity. This is Arnold Schwarzenegger's first ever TV show. So yes, when that's right. my agent, shout out to Lisa Muser, best agent in the world, well, America, Canada, the best agent in Ontario. Western Ottawa. Pretty, the best, pretty yeah. good in the Ottawa area. Yeah, pretty good yeah. in some of the Ottawa area. <laughs> See, that's, how I'm, gonna lose, that's well, how I'm going to lose my agent. Well, I was going to say, first you lost friends, and now you've lost your agent right here Desa, on the this show. This isn't going well. No. <laughs> she called me and said, would you like to be a part of Arnold Schwarzenegger's first ever TV show? I was like, hell yes. That of sounds epic. And I've, done, I've been very lucky, mate, because it was just me and Arnold sitting in chairs like this. See, really? Eh? We could reenact the scene, but it's a bit violent for... I think Daytime. that's why we're only showing the still shot here. So explain, oh, yeah. explain the scene that you're in here. There you are, and you're, you're actually threatening Arnold Schwarzenegger, yeah, right? If I start doing that to you, does that work? Well, it does. <laughs> I mean, you don't even have to do that. Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm threatening Arnold. Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I'm not allowed to tell you anything about this show. Because really? Netflix will, you know, somebody will knock at my door. And then we'll never and hear then from you again. I'll have disappeared. Wow. Because if I give any of the plot away. But I was, put it this way, I'm... I'm threatening Arnold Schwarzenegger, so what do you think happens to me? Mm, probably in a fight between well. me and... What's the... Pre can you tell us the premise of yes. the show? Okay. Right. Have you ever seen the old movie with Jamie Lee Curtis, True Lies? With yes. Him and the, right. It's basically that. He's a CIA operative just about to retire, but he hasn't told his family. But his daughter is also CIA, and they find out about each other and mayhem ensues. I love it. I love it. Um, last time you were on, we talked about uh, you working with... Um, oh, my gosh. Um, Bruce Willis. Sorry. Brain, brain just went there. That's what happens when you're over 50. Uh, with Bruce Willis, and that was pretty special. Like that was a really long scene. Tell me about that that experience. That with was him. super cool. Uh, and as people know now, he had a bit of a, a, a trouble memorizing lines because he had this sort of degenerative uh, thing, which is very mm -hmm. sad. But people said, "Oh, did you know about it at the time?" And I was like, "No." But he wanted to come on set and improvise the scenes, and that was how he was dealing with it. Now I didn't. I in retrospect, I look back and think about that. And I was like, "Oh, that's probably why he did it, so that he could be very much still in the room and didn't have to." Work worry about remembering lines, but uh, so that was just epic. I'm very lucky, Deza. I've done movies with Jean-Claude Van Damme, Bruce Willis, Arnold Schwarzenegger, but let me tell you what needs to happen. Okay. Someone needs to get me Sylvester Stallone on the phone, oh. and then I've collected the 80s icon you set. You have. You so have. I don't know how that happens. Netflix, probably, you need to help me out. <laughs> Some, someone out there needs to help me. Uh, you also are appearing in The Witcher, season three. I can tell you even less about that show. Really? Yeah. It's like working for the CIA if you're on The Witcher. They can't. Well, uh, Henry Cavill, yes. this is his final season. We That's can say right. that. that. We can that say we that. know. 
Okay. Yeah. You can't tell me about your role at all? I can tell you that I'm in it, and that's about it. That's it. This is all... What Why would... did we have him on the show? He can't even tell us about anything he's doing. Dezula, listen, listen what happens. <laughs> if I, the only way I know what I'm being killed for is if I knock at the door. If I get shot, I know it was because I gave away something about FUBAR. Right. If right. I get my throat slit open, it's because I mentioned something about The Witcher. Okay. What we have to say is we love Netflix. <laughs> we keep employing Zyman. I do. I, listen, I love Netflix. I, I, I subscribe to Netflix. Uh, anything coming up? Or you probably can't talk about that either? No, I can. Okay. Right. I've got another movie I can talk about, okay. you know, sort of for fear of not dying, called De Influencer, which is kind of a social media horror movie about a guy that kidnaps a cheerleader and makes her jump through hoops. So we're just doing, we've done two of these movies. Okay. But the first one's out right now, so it's on Amazon Prime. And what role do you play? The Nice guy. You play a nice guy? No, I, don't, you? Okay. I don't know why I said that. Yeah, because you always play, like, what was yeah. the, the Santa you played in the horror <laughs> psychopathic flick? Santa. The psychopathic Santa. Listen, if they need a nasty guy, someone who's going to do something questionable, my phone rings a lot. Why is that? I don't know. Because I'm, I'm also a part-time swimwear model, but I never get that call. For the swimwear? Yeah. Yeah. I could do all the poses yeah. and everything. <laughs> and never, I never get a call. Do you have, like, is it in your is it, is it in your demo reel? Because that would be a good start. I've just lied again. I don't know why I keep doing those things. <laughs> Not a part-time swimwear model. So, okay, you said uh, Sylvester Stallone yeah. is, is on the list, He's right? On that, the list that's now. bucket list. Yeah. What type of role is on the bucket list that you haven't done? I'd like to do comedy, because every time somebody goes and sees one of my films or shows, they're like, it's always pretty intense and gory and violence. And uh, I was like, for once, I'd like to do something my mother could watch. Because you are funny. I know. You're a funny guy. I'm a like Have you done stand-up before? No. I'd be too Would you afraid consider of it? I'd be, I'd be too afraid of the immediate... If you don't get the immediate You know, the immediate laugh. the laugh that you need in the first 30 seconds, I'd be like, oh, no. Oh, no. And then right. I feel like go into panic mode. Uh, FUBAR, when is it coming out? Do we know? May 25th. It's on Netflix. May 25th on Netflix. Yes, yeah. and, uh, and the only reason to see it is because Simon's in it. Also, Arnold Schwarzenegger has a... He has guess, a minor uh, something. Role. He's yeah. with me. Uh, Survive the Game with Bruce Willis. Is that still available That's as well? available right now on Amazon Prime. Okay. I, um, I, I love the scene that you have with him. Great film. Always great to catch up with you, Simon. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dezula. And, uh, and, <laughs> and Lisa Muse from The Muse, if you're watching, listen, you are the best. Never mind just West Ottawa and Ontario. You're one of the best in the entire country. We'll be right back after this. <laughs>